Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to explain to you how you can set audience targeting on quick links in SharePoint Online. Now, audience targeting is a feature I actually blogged about quite a bit and recorded a number of videos already. Uh, audience targeting allows you to pretty much show or hide certain content based on uh, user security. And um, for example, you can set audience targeting on navigation and hide certain links from being visible to some users. You can set audience targeting on uh, highlighted uh, content web part. You can set audience targeting on the news web part where you would hide or show a certain news posts depending on who is logged in. Well, one of the recent additions uh, that we have now, uh, the features that we have now in SharePoint Online is the ability to also set audience targeting on quick links. And it pretty much works the same way. Uh, you can show or hide uh, certain links from the users depending on who is logged in. So let me explain to you how to set it up. It's actually quite easy. Uh, what we need to do is, of course, first of all, enable audience targeting on the quick links uh, web part. Uh, for that, uh, let me edit my page. And by the way, I have uh, just an example of a, an internet you know, home uh, page, a home site. Uh, with a bunch of you know web parts and quick links is obviously one of them. So the first step we're going to do, we're going to edit the page and enable audience targeting on the quick links web part right here. Just toggle the switch. Next, uh, let's just say we want to hide this employee handbook from certain users. Uh, what you need to do is click on that quick uh, link, uh, the pencil icon right here. And then obviously you can customize the link and the icons and everything. Um, but at the bottom now, because we enabled audience targeting in the previous step, this is where we specify the, uh, you know, the security groups uh, that will be targeted. So if we leave it blank, uh, everyone will still see this uh, specific uh, link. I want to hide it from certain users. And this is where you specify the security groups. Now, you cannot specify the name. So for example, you cannot say, hey, you know, Mary or John, you know, you get to see the link, uh, no one else will. Uh, you have to specify the security groups. This, this could be Microsoft 365 groups. This could be uh, regular, you know, security AD groups, uh, but it, you know, this has have to be the security groups. In my case, I'll just use the example of uh, one of the security groups I have, one of the AD groups called payroll. And um, that's it. You just specify a group or multiple groups. You can actually uh, specify up to 50 uh, at most. Uh, one is good enough for us. So let me republish it. Actually, before I uh, republish it, you get to see the little uh, silhouette over here. That means that uh, uh, there has been an audience targeting, uh, you know, set on the specific link. All right, just for your information, we just republished. Now, uh, I am actually part of the group, all right, of that security group I just added, uh, but John, my colleague, is not. So let me show you now what the experience will be for John when he, uh, when he logs in. All right, again, it's me logged in here. Uh, I'm part of that group, so obviously I get to see the link. Uh, but now let me log in as John right here. I am in this particular browser. I am logged in as John. Once I refresh the screen, you will notice this link disappear. Just like that, you see. Uh, and the reason John doesn't get to see this link is because he is not part of that payroll security group I just added. Right. So that's really all uh, there is to it. Nice and simple, uh, just a nice way, another nice way to personalize your, uh, your SharePoint pages. Uh, if you uh, have links, uh, quick links, if you have navigation, if you have news posts uh, with audience targeting, you can now really personalize this. And depending on who is logged in, um, you can um, you know, show or hide certain content. All right, so that's all I really wanted to cover uh, in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.